part three of our Antenna Maga series. We will look at how to design an antenna using Antenna Magus. For each antenna there may be different design objectives. Some antennas require substrates and for this purpose a substrate library is included. For the biconical antenna, however, it is only necessary to specify the center frequency, in this case 2 GHz, the input resistance of 50 ohms, and to, to specify whether or not we want to design for optimal performance or for optimal design. And in case we don't know what the different results may be, we can easily compare these two. So we'd make two designs. First for optimal performance design. And we can estimate the performance. We can see the estimated performance for an optimal design. And then we can choose to do another design this time for optimal size. When the results become available, I can easily compare these results. For instance, you can look at the voltage standing wave ratio or the S barometers and it is clear the difference between the two designs. A further benefit of Antenna Magus is that you can now investigate what effect changing one of the parameters will have on the final results of your antenna. So what you then do is you can specify a new tweak and you can change some of these parameters. For instance, change the length of the antenna. and estimate the performance. The tweaked results also become available and it's now easy to compare the effect of small per or, or the effect of parameter changes on my design. Results are available in graph form and can also be exported in PowerPoint format. For more information on exporting results and verifying results, Please refer to the final video in this series, Generating CSD Microwave Studio Results.